You wanna hear something crazy? There are currently no YouTube videos yet about this knife. The Senkut Sidious. Yes, like the Sith Lord. This is a very similar situation like when I found the Honey Badger. And you remember this, the Free Tiger FT903. So this is a true knife premiere you do not want to miss. Right about now, you should be looking at some specs. These are measurements I did go ahead and take myself. So you can either go ahead and like pause, read it here, or I will have them listed down in the uh, description below, just in case you, know, you want to follow along throughout this video. And I'll go ahead and include a link to buy. The Sidious has several features that I totally was not expecting on a $40 knife. So what I went ahead and did was I broke them up into a list of seven crazy surprises. Wait, wait till you hear the last one. It's a pretty big deal. Well, at least I think so. Hey, how you doing? If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. My name is Jay. Go ahead and consider clicking on that subscribe if you're looking for knife reviews. They get right to the point. This is gonna be about the same size as a uh, Benchmade bug out. And it has kind of a Civivi like look and feel to it. You know, let me grab a couple Civivis and show you down on the blade cam. First one I'll show it uh, next to is the Civivi shredder. And you can see, wow, well, yeah, the shredder is obviously quite a bit larger. Uh, they do, it does share some design elements with the Sidious. And then next to the to the Wyvern, you know what? I didn't realize until just now that that they're both almost the same size as well. I mean, come on, do you think it's just a coincidence that they're using 9CR 18MOV as the blade steel? The blade finish here of the Sidious looks amazing. I mean, for a budget knife, that stone wash, look at that. And then so I have it up on top of the uh, Hinderer XM18 next to their working finish. All right, I'm sorry, I gotta invade your personal space here, but I gotta get in close so I can show you the, the edge. Look at that. So the, like where the edge terminates, where it ends, right at the plunge grind, flawless. All right, crazy surprise number two. The first, yep, you see? Well, actually, wait, let me show you from here. This would probably be better. It has an internal stop pin. Not only that, ceramic ball bearing pivot. I just, I don't know how much of a difference that you know, having the ceramic bearings instead of stainless steel for this knife. I don't know how much of a difference it really makes. Let me show you. The action really, it is, uh, it's okay <laughs> at best. Yeah, not really, a, not really a drop shutter. And it could just be that this blade is too light to ever be able to drop shut. I mean, regardless of what type of bearings are inside. And now I know, you know, that's not a deal breaker for some, but man, you have to admit it really does. I mean, it makes things so much more fun when mm, like honey badger, that's just a good time. Now, you know me, I always appreciate multiple deployment options like we have here with the flipper tab and the thumb hole. But the detent, it's just, it's not very strong. I mean, it's strong enough where, no way. I cannot shake that, that blade loose, but, yeah, I can pretty much fail it whenever I want. Now for me, the, middle finger flick or spidey flick it's easier for me to uh to do that with this knife 
than it is to go ahead and do like, well, just the standard, like thumb open. I really can't, no, I can't get my thumb in. I mean, I can slow roll it. Oh, heck yeah, all day long, but I can't really get enough of the meat of my thumb in there to uh, flick it open. Okay, I can with a little bit of wrist. If a knife has to have a liner lock, I really do, that's why I prefer the nested ones because you can see here on the, uh, on the honey badger, it helps to keep the thickness of the handle down as opposed to with the Sidious and the standard liners. So it's just like stacking stuff one on top of the other in that, that like metal G10 sandwich. Since we're already talking about liners, check out this uh, lock bar. You can see how it does stick out past the G10 scales by a fair amount. That's good because it's just gonna make it so much easier you know, when you go to get your thumb in there to close the knife. Crazy surprise number three. Excellent blade to handle ratio. I mean, they fit a 3.3 inch blade into a 4.1 inch handle. Now that is a beautiful thing right there. And can you see, I have just enough, I'm gonna show you this, I have just enough room for my medium sized hand to fit on there. Yeah, there's a little bit left over. Boy, I wish this had like a forward finger choil. So then you could choke up on it. Then those of you with the bigger bear paws, you won't have any trouble with this knife. And the G10, the like texture, it's really, really nice. The traction is excellent. Crazy surprise number four is gonna be about the, well, well since we're already talking about the G10 scales, this knife, okay, is available, Get get this, six different G10 colors. I think there's even like burgundy or something like that. I, how many times do you see a burgundy knife? I mean, but that is also very impressive because, you know, it's not called the Elementum. Crazy surprise number five, T8 body screws. Yep. They are, that requires the same exact Torx bit as you would use on the pivot. Well done. Number six, look at all of that room underneath the pocket clip. Yeah, you could clip that to the pocket of your snowsuit and there's still room, I, moon boots and all. Not only do we get that generous amount of space under the clip, but look at the screws, can you see them? The clip screws, yeah, those babies are completely flush. That's not all. Wait, do you see this? Tip up, deep carry, right hand. Lefty love. Now, if you look inside, you can see that they did go ahead and skeletonize. Oh, it's both liners, even though there's just very little taken out on the lock bar side, but they did remove some. So they did that in an effort to, uh, to reduce the weight. Let's see how they did. I'm gonna bet that there is, this is gonna do well because of how light it does feel. Wow, they did fantastic. 2.51 ounces. And then that is gonna be 71.1 grams. Nice. Let's see how well this three millimeter thick hollow ground blade, let's see how well, how well it cuts. Ooh, that's pretty good. Ooh, wait a minute. I don't know, was that user error? Oh, it might've been. That's pretty darn good. I mean, it's not like a friggin' lightsaber through a Kleenex, but it's pretty good. 
crazy surprise number seven this one is kind of well for me it was important so on the box they had it has all of their like this company's like social media contacts and there's a website okay and i'll put that down in the uh, description below www.sencut.com so of course i type that in i go there and I get the message that says IP address not found. So as far as like a warranty, man, I honestly, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. I was just shocked that <laughs> the domain, it's not there, but it's on the box. It's kind of a shame too, because the Sidious makes a really good beater knife. I mean, it's one that it still has the multiple deployment up, and it's light enough that you could also carry this as a backup, as a secondary. But anything other than a beater with this knife, I, I yeah, I, I just don't see it in any other role. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you got, I mean, like any value from it, do me a favor, let me know by leaving one of them. And don't forget to click on subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you at the next video. Take care. See you guys. Be safe. All right. Who wants it? <laughs> I will pick one winner who will walk away with this Sencut Sidious. The very mysterious Sencut Sidious. <laughs> I will uh, go ahead and draw names on, let's do Tuesday, September 15th, 2020, just in case you're time travel or something like that. So 91520, I will pick a winner. Subscribers only, please. Of course there's a code word. Oh, you're gonna like this. You're gonna like this, okay. So, well, I think you're gonna like it. Now, to enter in the giveaway, here's what you gotta do. You have to use the word Darth. D-A-R-T-H. So come up with your like best Sith Lord names. Darth something. As long as Darth is there, hey, you're golden.